sticker we're going to talk about uh, is, this, is this, this is one of my favorite stickers. This one is Rob Roscop. The Rob Roscop number five. There was a series. You can also see a good picture of it. It's based on a deck design for Santa Cruz. Um, there's a good picture of it in this book. Surf, skate, rock art of Jim Phillips. Everyone knows who that is. Everybody does. Uh, it was done in 1988. Jim Phillips did a lot of, most of the graphics for Santa Cruz in the 80s. He's like skateboard graphic Mount Rushmore. As, as, a, as a kid, when I saw this, it was like mind-blowing. The level of work that went into this amount of imagery because, you know, they, he drew this like full size, so you're talking about like 30 inches, 10 inches wide, and just every single inch is full of stuff. I don't even know the number, like the number of colors, it's like blue, yellow, green, red, black, white. What I like about this is it, it reminds me of like a, that, that like famous, Hieronymus Bosch painting. It's called like Garden of Earthly Delights. The hell part is full of like all this gross stuff, you know, people being burned and like eaten and everyone's gross and like there's these monsters and stuff. This design, if like a kid got it, I'm sure the kid's parents are like concerned, like is our child into devil imagery? Like this is too messed up and gross. But like essentially the roots of this image are like in 15th century painting from the Netherlands. It's like figuring, figuring out a way to be punk rock with like a butter churn, you know? This kind of stuff to me was like happening a lot in medical illustrations. There's all these like gross drawings of like syphilis and, and just like dissections and stuff and at the same time some of this while this is like gross it's also kind of like funny you know like some of the stuff's like funny these bug people and like the maggots and stuff it's sort of ridiculous which is like a little bit before this was sorry the bug before this was being done you have like wacky packs coming out which were these great like kind of trading card sticker things with like funny takes on products. Also, like early Peter Saul in the 60s was making these like amazing paintings of like people that were kind of like hyper stretched out and changed and like kind of like on the gross side. I don't know. I don't know what Jim Phillips was looking at. I have no idea. But I like I like the idea that he was seeing that stuff. And and that stuff is all feeding into the idea of this like gross, hyper detailed like maximalist looking imagery that you, that you just put on a skateboard because at that time too yeah skateboarding was still kind of like rebellious so you wanted to have something on your board that was kind of like feeding into you wanting to freak people out or like damage property you know kind of that idea of badassness now it seems a little silly but at the time it felt real cool. And then it, these were so popular. Like this design was so popular that like you kind of see how it maybe influenced like people who already like stuff like Garbage Pail Kids or Heavy Metal. There's that Ozzy Osbourne album, Diary of Madman, which was before this, but it's just like, he had like guts in his mouth. You know what I mean? And he's just like, Bleh. And like that sort of heavy metal feeling. Hello, darkness, my old friend. And just the time, the time I went in to make this stuff was like so crazy. It, you know, he did five of these designs, and it's like, is this his like Godfather trilogy? Like, is this his Lord of the Rings? Is this his like Harry Potter series? Where it's unmistakable and like such a massive undertaking as far as I'm concerned. Also, you have to remember, they, there's no computer. Like he's drawing this in ink. He's cutting out all these lines in Ruby list, which if you don't know what Ruby list is, it's this torturous process 
with a, like a red, it's two, it's like a piece of plastic paper and then a red like layer and you cut all the lines out with an exacto blade and it sucks and takes forever and you have to cut out each individual color with the like separate layers on top of each other and then merge them back together and then screen print it back together it is horrific and now you see art that feels like this and it's what's cool to me is it's like you know gets to be categorized as like art it's not it's not like oh that's uh that's just skate art or like that's graphic art or like kid stuff like people do this in a way that's like gets to be talked about like it's a, a serious art form because it to me it is a serious art form makes you want to make something with that much stuff in it also it's big there's a big sticker man i don't know that's like oh measure it nine and a half inches long sticker that's great like this there's no way this was more than like three dollars when it came out originally that's a value that is a value for three dollars that much sticker and these this is this is last forever it's like if you want to see something pretty like by vogue but if you like if you want to look at what most of people are dealing with on a daily basis like this is like didn't sleep got high like too high woke up forgot you had something to do brunch plans and this is how your face feels this is your face feels like this but you still have to go meet up with your friends and you're just trying not to barf the entire time you're like a, a full water balloon of just mistakes and you let it fester and it's gonna pop out on you so that is why this is one of my favorite stickers <laughs>